was I went cold, it's come to be so cold. But I keep going on cold, trying to make that fire burn. Sometimes you gotta get scars, get what you deserve. I kept moving on, and now I'm moving up. Am I feeling blessed with all this love? I think I might leave my own mind. I say good, you say morning, good morning, good morning. I say Jefferson believes, you say Jets achieve, Jefferson believes, Jets achieve, Jefferson believes, Jets achieve. Good morning, Jefferson students, staff, and families. This is Mr. Miller broadcasting from Lincoln Hawk Studio in my basement. And here are your jet announcements for Wednesday, May 27th, 2020. Thanks for tuning in today. I hope you have subscribed to my YouTube channel, Mr. Miller Jefferson Jets. Please help me spread the word so we can get as many Jefferson students and families tuned in to the announcements. So are you going to school with the new way with Google Classroom? We are now on week eight with this new and the only way that school is happening during this time at home. People have said, but this is weird. It doesn't feel normal. It's hard. I agree with this for sure. But this is just the new reality. We all have to adjust and do our best. We all miss being at Jefferson, but we can still go to school by participating in all the things that we have going. We have many things for you to do. We just want you to participate. The number of kids that are in Google Classroom has increased again. We are up to 250. Ms. McCartney's class has the most kiddos in GC, and fifth grade leads the way for the most students in GC. I think this is great, but what about the kiddos that have Chromebooks but aren't logged into GC? This is where we need your help. Reach out to your friends. Encourage them to log into GC. Yes, there's only a couple weeks left, but it's not too late. Tell them about what we're doing. Tell them we're doing Plinko, at-home jet bucks, at-home jet buck raffles, virtual field day, and virtual talent show. We are now up to 80 Jefferson Jets in my PE Google Classroom. I want this number to be higher. Come on, Jets, join the PE Google Classroom. I want you to stay active for at least 30 minutes a day. When you join, I will give you a quick shout out for joining the PE Google Classroom. We want you to check into your Google Classroom each school day. Use the activities, resources, and video lessons that your teachers have created to feed your brain. We do not expect you to work all day long. Just a few hours a day would be awesome. You still have the weekends off from school, but Monday through Friday, we encourage you to do some schoolwork. Your brain needs fuel. We want you to continue to feed your brains. Next on the announcements, school breakfast and lunch meals. If you haven't taken advantage of this, you should. You can go to any one of the middle schools, Smart William Sudlow, or you can go to the ASC at JB. You can pick these meals up from 11 a.m. until 1 p.m. When you pick up your lunch, you get your breakfast for the next day as well. On Fridays, you will be getting meals for the weekend as well. Sounds like a great deal to me. Also, if you want to, you can pick up paper packets of activities and resources to use at home. Jefferson Jet Joke of the Day is next. Here we go. So if you have a joke that you want me to use in the announcements, share it with me or email it to me, and then I'll give you an at-home jet buck if you do this. Maybe I'd even let you play Plinko or something too. Hmm, I don't know. Okay, here we go. What is worse than finding a worm in your apple? One more time. What is worse than finding a worm in your apple? Hmm. Finding half a worm? <laughs> Get it? That's a good one. All right, and next up is our Jefferson Jet birthdays. Today, we have birthday twins to celebrate, so today's first happy birthday shout-out goes to Jamarie Shorter from Mrs. Fuller's class in room two. Jamarie, your birthday twin, and the next happy birthday shout-out goes to Ray Mears Davis from Mrs. Trowbridge's class in room 10. Happy birthday, Jamarie and Ray Mears. 
And next is our Jefferson Jet at home shout out. Jefferson, can I get a what what for Anaya Walls from room 14? What what? Oh, Anaya from Miss Van Notes class is getting today's Jefferson at home shout out because Anaya is now finished with fourth grade SC math. If my memory serves me correct, this is a third, maybe the fourth student from room 14 has now finished with fourth grade ST math. Mrs. Van Note said that Anaya, that Anaya has so much potential and is an awesome student. Mrs. Van Note is super proud of you, Anaya, and so are we. Way to go. Stay learning. And there is Anaya's fourth grade ST math finisher shout out page. Anaya, I have you on the bonus Plinko list. You'll be a Plinko player this Wednesday, tonight at 5 o'clock. We will continue to recognize students that are rocking the new way to learn at home with Google Classroom. Are you working hard enough to get a student shout-out? Speaking of shout-outs, if anybody wants to give a shout-out to anyone, email Mr. Miller. You can create your shout-out in a Google Doc and share it with me. You can include a picture with you want with why you are giving the shout out. The shout out can be about anything. It could be about virtual field day, a video game victory, who the Uno champ is, whatever you want to do. You share it with me, I'll put it on the announcements. Remember when you share it with me, look for my Iowa hat so you have the correct name. My email is millerch at davenportschools.org. Next on the announcements, Plinko Live with the Millers. We will be doing Plinko Live with the Millers on YouTube every Wednesday at 5 o'clock. Plinko players will be students that are earning student shout-outs from teachers for things they are doing at home, ST Math, Lexia, Google Classroom work, things like that. We will play Plinko for you. You can watch as the Plinko chip falls, and the prizes that you win on Plinko will be delivered to your house by the Millers. So I hope we can spread the word to get as many people to tune in on Wednesdays at 5 o'clock. To tune in, subscribe to my YouTube channel, Mr. Miller, Jefferson Jets. Wednesday's Plinko Live with the Millers had been a blast. And now I know some kiddos couldn't watch Plinko Live the very first time we did this on their Chromebooks. But I'm telling you, this is fixed. So I hope everybody tunes in. I also hope this is motivating you to keep working hard. There are a few people I still need to get a hold of so we can deliver those prizes. Otherwise, most have had their prizes delivered. We will make another delivery run with the prizes along with this week's Plinko winners on Friday. Next on the announcements, at home jet bucks and jet buck raffles. At home Jefferson jet buck raffles have started. It's pretty awesome how many of you have earned so many jet bucks already. We have done one raffle already and we're gonna do one more before the end of the year. The second one will be next Wednesday, June 3rd. How is the at-home jet buck raffle going to work? Well, here's what you got to do. Every unit that you complete in Lexia, one jet buck. Every 1% in ST math that you finish or complete, one jet buck. Google Classwork submitted assignments. And I know you got Google Classroom assignments to do. Submit them. You get a jet buck. Might as well. 20 minutes of reading. You read for Mayan for 20 minutes. Boom, one jet buck. If you read at home to yourself or to others, parent verifies with a teacher, jet buck. Joining a Google Meet or Google Classroom. If you get in there and meet with the teachers during the office hours or Google Meet, however you want to say it, if you're in there, one jet buck. If you do uh, music and art, two jet bucks. If you do music, art in your homeroom, that's three. Whew. Next is Prodigy. You get one jet buck for every unit that you finish in Prodigy. Remember, to complete a unit in Prodigy, you have to answer the questions. You can't just play the games. So your teachers will keep track of all of this for you. Each week they will turn your name in and how many jet bucks you earn to me. And then the Millers will type instead of write your names down and then we'll enter them in the raffle jar for you. We will draw the winners next Wednesday. All prizes will be delivered to you by the Millers. So what are the prizes? Well, I'm working on this, but here's what I'm going to uh, guarantee. I'm going to add as many as I can. But I know for sure we're going to have two bikes, two scooters, for sure. What else are we going to do? Well, I might end up doing the same thing as last time. Like we did Whitey's and pizza and candy through faves. We did some things like that. But I can guarantee you two bikes, two scooters, for sure. And next on the announcement is the Jefferson Jet Virtual Talent Show. So teachers, everybody, students, the one thing that's broken my heart about 
not being at school more than anything is the talent show and field day. But we are not going to let the coronavirus stop this. So we have a virtual talent show and a virtual field day. How is this going to work? Well, you will have to record your routine, share it with me, and I will put all the acts together, and then we'll broadcast the talent show for everyone to watch. If you're going to be a part of this talent show, I hope you have been planning and practicing. The key to this is practice. The talent show will be during the last day of school, which is Friday, June 5th. Remember, if you're going to use music for any part of your act, make sure it's school appropriate. You can start submitting or sharing your acts with me today. Once again, if you need help sharing this with me, you can also share these things with Miss Stacy. You can also reach out to me if you need help on how to do it and that with this, and I can help you as well. The best way is to email it to me, but sometimes if the video is too long, it's easier to share it through Google. We will figure it out one way or the other. Don't let this stop you from doing an act for the talent show. And I know there are some teachers that have stuff ready to go. Next up on the announcements, Virtual Field Day. Now, I want to give a quick shout out to these people that have been doing an awesome job on Field Day already. So these kiddos, they've already done our Field Day, Virtual Field Day, and they did the survey on here. So I got to give a shout out to Lonnie from Room 14, Leoni from Room 2, and Croy Ross from Room 22. All three of those guys have done the field day or however many of the activities they chose, and then they did the survey. Pretty awesome. So this has been shared with you. It's in the PE Google Classroom. Hopefully your teachers have it out to you. And then you click on any of these pictures, and a video will show up, and it explains to you what to do for the field day. If you want a score sheet, you want to get competitive and keep score, you click on this, and it will open it up. Now, remember, you got to go to your Google Classroom to do this. You can't do it on the announcements because I'm videotaping this. So that's Virtual Field Day. It's pretty awesome. All right. Next is 10 Questions With. This has been a fun way for us to get to know these amazing Jefferson staff members. As I said the other day, we have talked to most of the staff members. So I thought, why not catch up with some of my other friends who used to work at Jefferson? So this week is Jefferson Alumni Week. We'll be talking to former Jets and what they are up to. Today, I have the fabulous Miss Angela as our special guest. Miss Angela is truly one of the best, and I know I miss seeing her. Miss Angela helped so many people and made such a difference to so many people. So let's catch up with Miss Angela. All righty, Jefferson, I have the fabulous Miss Angela with me today. Good morning, Miss Angela. Good morning, Mr. Miller. How are you? I am super fantastic. I'm so glad to talk to you today, that's for sure. I know, I know. It's so good to see you. I love the Mohawk. Thanks. Very nice. Mohawk. The <laughs> is, will the kids know where I'm at? We're playing Where in the World is Mr. Miller, so they have to figure out where I'm at. So we'll see if they can figure it out. Okay, question number one. It looks one, wonderful. Yeah, it does. The question number one. Is, <laughs> I'd like to be there. Yeah. <laughs> me too. <laughs> question number one is: This give us a little bit of history of Miss Angela and her Jefferson history, and what you're up to now. Yeah. So I was the school based therapist at Jefferson for five school years, and um, this is the first year I haven't been there. And I um, saw kids uh, kindergarten through fifth grade for a whole uh, range of issues, maybe just something really stressful is going on in their life, or they have a lot of issues with anxiety or anger, and they would come see me, and we would work through those problems and talk. Um, and now I'm at a different school. I'm over in Bettendorf at Paul Norton Elementary, and I actually I work with uh, your sister, Mrs. Retzel. So it's... Uh, like we've talked about small world so uh but it's wonderful to uh to be with the staff there they're they're great too just like jefferson absolutely uh, it's a small world for sure so question number two would be what do you miss the most about jefferson oh gosh everything <laughs> all the people uh the staff is wonderful and of course of course i miss the kids um it's just such a um, loving and caring environment. I got hugs wherever I went, um, and but definitely, yeah. If I had to pick the kids, and I had a pretty wonderful office there too, that I I missed that too. You actually so. did have a pretty <laughs> sweet little setup there. 
I tell people I did, yeah. too that the that's that's what I miss the most is is the hugs. I just say like, yeah. You're, you're used to getting so many of those a day, and now you get. <laughs> <laughs> really I know. <laughs> I know. <laughs> they probably miss them too. So, okay. So the next <laughs> yeah. question, number three, is who are you quarantined with during this time, and what are you guys up to? So I am home with my two kids, who are three and a half and one, and my husband is here too most of the time, but he is still out working every day. Um, and so the way my kids and I are keeping busy, we try to we're visiting different like uh, state parks. Um, try to be outside as much as we can and um, also try to do some fun indoor things that I you know uh, crafts things like that whenever I can come up with awesome. <laughs> that day or what do we have in the house so awesome. yeah it's it's going pretty good good okay question number four is what is Miss Angela's favorite vacation that she has been on Oh gosh, I've been lucky to be a lot of places, um, but my favorite place to go um, in the whole world is Door County, Wisconsin. And that is, um, we try to go up every year, probably not this year, um, but in Wisconsin, you'll see this little part sticking out. It's like a peninsula and it's up by Lake Michigan and that's Door County. And so it's, it's, a, it's a big drive. It's about six and a half, seven and a half hours, but um, lots of fun stuff to do up there, and that's my favorite place to go. I can't so. wait to visit there. I know my parents have been there, and I've heard yes. maybe things about it, so I can't wait to get there. I'll tell you all the places to look. Okay, it sounds okay. perfect. So the next question would be, what is Miss Angela's dream vacation? Oh, that one's easy. My dream is definitely... They go to Italy someday. Uh, I hope to make it there. Um, Right now, obviously, that's not a very safe place to be or to go, but hopefully in a few years, it will be okay to go back there. But I definitely want to go visit uh, a lot of the cities there. So Absolutely. Well, when you go, <laughs> Miss Van Note is your go-to because she was there for three weeks, and she'd probably be able to tell you some of the good cities to go visit and stuff. And okay. I'd ha I'll have to pick her brain, yes, when the time comes, for sure. Okay. Now, the <laughs> next question is, what is Miss Angela's favorite restaurant, and what does she like to order from there? Uh, well, I love Barrel House. Um, that's probably one of my favorite local spots. And um, we have talked about this. The firecracker shrimp is the best thing on the menu. <laughs> And you can get it a variety of ways, so that's always fun. Yeah. Um, so yeah, looking forward to going there and at some point and uh, dining in maybe. In a, we'll see <laughs> when at we do that. Point, but I love that place. Yes, at some point you'll have to come out to Leclerc, and not only do they have Blue Iguana, but they also have a new Mexican restaurant out here that is fantastic as well. So there's two spots that we can go to out here. Okay, well I love all the places in LeClaire, so okay. definitely need to get out there, yeah. Okay, the next question is, what is something, the favorite food in Miss Angela's family that somebody cooks or that you cook for the family? <sighs> okay, um, so both my husband and I cook, we do, we take turns, so, um, and he, this is really simple, but he makes really good spaghetti. Love it. Love spaghetti. So, it's, wrong. I don't know what he does, but it's better than mine. So, he is the designated spaghetti cooker in our house, not me. So, <laughs> um, but we like that. And he also makes really good tacos. My son loves that when we get to have taco night. So, love it. Miss um, Barnes, so yeah, those are a couple things. Miss <laughs> Barnes claims that uh, she makes a killer homemade uh, spaghetti sauce. So, uh, oh, it was, I, that's what I said. I was like, does she sell it? Spaghetti sauce. <laughs> Who does it? It's all there for you. She yeah, said, I wouldn't say he does. He doesn't do that. Like, yeah. no, we would love to try Mrs. <laughs> Barnes' uh, sauce. <laughs> okay, so the next question is: Would you rather? So it's: Would you rather Netflix and chill, play a video game, or read a book? Oh, Netflix and chill. That's easy. So I was doing that before quarantine. <laughs> That was pretty much nightly routine right there. So since I don't have kids, this is the advice I give my brother who has two young ones like you. So do you watch Netflix like with headphones while the kid's watching something else on TV? Or how do you get Netflix time in with your kids when they're sleeping? Or when do you do this? Nap, nap time or when they're in bed for the night. Yeah, no, none of my stuff is kid appropriate. 
So they have to be asleep. I love it. Okay, so the next question is, would you rather have chocolate or candy, and what are some of your favorites? Ooh, that's really hard, because that just kind of depends what kind of mood I'm in. Mood. So, but, okay, so for my favorite candy is, um, so when I was growing up, they were called shock tarts. Do you, yes. do you remember these? So yes. sour, very sour candy. But now they're called sour sweet tarts. Yep. Um, so I don't know if there was like a merge, but I, when I was pregnant with both my kids, I ate those things by like the bag, <laughs> which is so <laughs> terrible. But I, I did. I that's all I wanted those all the time. So, but I still I love those. So I that's my favorite candy. Okay. And so, what's your favorite chocolate? Um, probably a Twix. Oh yes. I had to pick. You're wrong with Twix. I like the crunch. So. so uh, just so you know, I was at yeah. North High Media the other day, and they had the sour sweet tarts in the bags that you're talking about, like a, a okay. bigger bag, and they were on sale for a dollar. I was going to buy like every bag they had, and Mrs. Miller's like, do you have enough candy? you have enough? Because uh, I was going to use it for Plinko prizes and stuff. Too. Yes. Did you buy any? Oh, just one. <laughs> I'm going to go back and get the rest of them. Well, I need to go buy some. Well, I, I just want the kids at Jefferson to experience. Yes. Sour, so sour sweet, tarts, sweet tart. AK shock tarts. That's one of the few sour candies that I really like. But I really? love Yeah, it's so good. So good. I know. They are good. Some people hate them. Like my son, I, he tried them and like, no, not. <laughs> Very disappointed in him. But okay. <laughs> All right, so. so our last question is, what message would you like to say to the Jefferson crowd that's tuning in today? Okay, uh, so hi to um, all the therapy kids, um, or any kid that would stop by and visit me. I miss you so much. And if I wish I could say all your names, but I can't. I'm not really allowed to do that. So um, if you've ever wondered if I've thought about you or if I've missed you, the answer is definitely yes. And I just hope that you're staying safe and that uh, every day you are telling yourself that you matter. I hope you remember that and don't need anyone to remind you of it. And I miss you all so much. And I hope to maybe visit when school is back in session again someday. So maybe next fall. That would be so. awesome. That's well said. I love the, the part about you matter. That's perfect for everyone. I'll do. Yep. So true. Awesome, Miss yes. Angel. Well, I appreciate you taking the time out of your busy schedule to uh, talk with us today. Thank you so much for having me. This was a blast. Thank no you. No problem. All right, we'll talk to you later. Okay, bye. Bye, guys. So, Jefferson, number one, if we do, where in the world is Mr. Miller? If you respond and you email me, you text me or uh, share with me in Google, however you want to do it. If you tell me where in the world I was during that interview with Ms. Angela, then you will get an at-home jet buck, or maybe I'll even let somebody play Plinko. We'll have to see. Now, I want to give another shout-out to Ms. Angela, too, because the first time that I interviewed her, uh, we had a malfunction, and something didn't work, and we had to redo it because it didn't process the video or whatever they do on there. So thanks again, Ms. Angela. You're amazing. All right, Jefferson, let's wrap it up here for today. So the challenge for you, if you, your family, siblings, anyone in your house can record a video of you reciting the Pledge of Allegiance, share it with me. I can include in the announcements. Once again, not required, but if you do so, I will give you a jet buck or a Plinko chance. Share it with me in Google and do the same thing for the Jefferson Jet Motto. The wonderful Miss Stacy has volunteered to help with this, so if it's easier for you to share these with Miss Stacy through a text message or on the Jefferson PTC Facebook page, then she will get these to me. Come on, Jets, help me out and get these pledge and mod of videos in to me or Miss Stacy. We are now ready for the Pledge of Allegiance, so Jets, please stand and join us. Remember, stand tall, stand proud. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Now, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, it is time for the Jefferson Jet Motto. We say the Jefferson Jet Motto every day, and now we look for those who believe in it. 
So let's show it, Jefferson. And now I want to hear you say it, Jets. Who are we? We are Jets. We are kind. We are safe. We are responsible. And we are respectful. Because we are Jets. Once again, if you have not heard it yet today, we miss you, we love you, and we appreciate you tuning in today. Remember, make positive choices. Be kind to one another. Have a wonderful Wednesday. See you tonight at 5 o'clock for Plinko Live. Stay learning, Jets. Peace. Our PS22 chorus video today is pretty much the chorus. They are singing a song. And since you've been gone, it's the name of the song. And they are singing it to some of the cast from Pitch Perfect 2. So if you know Pitch Perfect 2, you'll see some of them in the crowd. And they're singing to them today. It's a song called Suits so Been Gone. Check it out. All right, Jets, we'll see you later. Peace. Tonight, Plinko Live, 5 o'clock with the Millers. Peace out, yo.